Hi, I'm Stefan Lincoln and I work at TAT. Solid UIs and frame rate. So, what is solid? It's actually a little hard to see. It's much more easier to feel. So, I'll give you a few examples of how it feels first. In my old toy car, the steering wheel was a little rickety. You could wiggle it back and forth without affecting the wheels. So every time I changed direction, I would have to rotate it a little bit before it connected with the wheels. You can see this as a form of hardware delay, if you will. My new car has a more solid feel. Every bit of rotation of the steering wheel turns the car. The left fork handle is a little loose, so it rattles. And it gives a little when you push it against something. You can eat just fine with this fork, but you lack the sense of precision and control that you get from a solid fork. The solid fork feels more like an extension of your hand than um, something that you hold in your hand. For the left potato peeler, it takes a short while for it to land properly on the potato surface, causing a delay on each stroke. With a solid tool, you set the pace. No matter how powerful you are, and no matter how eloquent your speech is, you stutter when you place a long distance call. This is because of the delay introduced when the signal travels around the globe. A conversation face to face feels a lot more solid in this sense. So what is frame rate, and how does it relate to the solid feeling in a user interface? Let's get to the basics. A movie displays a number of still images one after another. This happens so fast that it feels like an animation. Each image is called a frame. The frame rate, or FPS, is the number of frames per second. For a movie, the frame rate is 24 frames per second. TV runs at about 60 frames per second, or 50 FPS if you live in Sweden. This makes TV feels a bit more real than the cinema. The iPhone's address list runs at about 45 FPS. It feels quite responsive. Not as responsive as a solid fork, but it's still the most responsive address list in the phone industry. The iPhone's photo album is another story. When you scroll an entire screen, the frame rate crawls down to around 7 FPS. This lasts for about half a second and feels a bit jerky and stuttering. After that, you can scroll small distances at a frame rate of 30 FPS, which feels much better. So, what should you strive for? Well, when you have the classic four-way navigation buttons, your interaction is indirect. You push down on a button, and something happens on the screen. With this, you can tolerate a lot of delay. So, for these kinds of phones, 20 FPS is quite alright. At 40 and above, it feels solid. But uh, touch phones are much more sensitive to poor frame rates, because the interaction is direct. You drag something with your finger, and if it doesn't follow your finger, it feels slippery and silly. If you can reach 30 FPS, you will have an acceptable user interface. Most people won't consciously notice the lag. But everyone will feel the increased sense of luxury and quality if you switch to 60 FPS. Just like a really well-crafted kitchen knife or a fork molded in one piece, it will feel solid. Are you getting the best frame rate out of your hardware? Talk to us. Thank you.